Hello and welcome back to Geek Fang Shui. I'm your host and Geek Master, Pop Sellers JR. My shout out to our friends at Canada Bringer and Gas in Mantorville, as well as South by Southeast and Pine Island and Under Pressure in Golden Valley. Check out those or venues in your area of equal family friendly, pet friendly, kid friendly environments where you're not suffering the dark, dank you know, sports bars. <coughs> that you usually run into. No, these are family-oriented areas where they will often have game rooms where you can get board games and card games and bring your own. You can bring your own food. Many offer food in or around through food trucks or other vendors nearby that will drop them off. Check them out. Great places, great people, great fun. Check out my books at sellersjr.com. My overall website, geekfengshui.com. Or my channels here on YouTube, Whiskey Zulu Niner, Whiskey Tango, Fox Rock, Kilted Swine, BBQ, or Geek Feng Shui. Please like and subscribe and set the bell accordingly. The more likes, I'll know that it's worthwhile doing the effort. The subscriptions help. Eventually, who knows? I hope to get a gathering, but you know, there's a lot better entertaining channels out there. Shout out to uh, Everything Auto and I'll talk with Mike and Leto's Law, for example. Now, I did play around a little bit trying to do controllers, but that was just a pain in the butt. So I'm going to try to do Classic WoW without any add-ons. So what I'm going to do now, the buttons normally are uh, zoom in. I'm going to stick with the keyboard jockeyism. Fix something real quick here so I don't get a reboot in the middle of my Go. Reboot avoided. Yay, Windows. Now, one of the first things I'm going to do is save up and get a skidding knife. To do skinning and urban, because then you can make things Cactus apples also, guys. One thing is with the. I don't know if there's a way to set it on.
I don't know if there's an auto loot thing or not. So, we will assume not for the time being. Do not have any energy. I cannot do that yet. I do not have a target. So what they're doing is they're drawing all of them around together so they can kill them all and target all of them. <laughs> I thought originally that someone might be in trouble with the party together. What I think happened is I was playing around with the action bar stuff. And I think I undid Go to action bar. <clears throat> Three, I think. And that's why I was. I had been playing around with the uh, controller. It is too far away. Which was too clunky, in my opinion.
do not have enough energy. I cannot do that. Not enough energy. You can see how people will see it coming and people have range attack will steal a quest thing. It happens. Not yet. I'm going to turn in my quest. I am out of you notice when they're red, they will attack you. I do not have energy. One of the reasons I try to shy away from add-ons is that all it takes is for an update to break on. And if you're so used to having an add-on that you have to have it, your SOL. Respawn's pretty good, and you'll see other stuff that is um, questing here, like these logs. And starting when you have a lot of people starting up, it can be hard to get questions sometimes. In the other um, mainstream world, there are pets, for example.
that spawn. Familiars, I need turn all those in and see what training I have. At some point, I'll get a, an offhand weapon. doesn't really show you not enough energy poor guy I saw him I didn't realize he was going for him otherwise I'm not going to but then again you might have seen me going for it. That ability is not ready yet. I do not have enough energy. That ability is not ready yet. Not do that yet. Not yeah. enough energy. Ready. So we have quest turns. Which it's good to do it to get it done so that you don't have to. You want to kind of over level before you do stuff. In any game. Classic doesn't, I don't think, has it turned on to show you where your quest areas are. the easiest way. That's one hour cooldown. I don't want to waste it. Does show you a dot. What do you need? Go forth to victory. What can I do for you? The horde. There will be weapon vendors, I'm not sure. The supporter of the Diablo. 
is strength and honor. Go with honor. Fight well, friend. So now with this blade. Apparently you have to train up to get dual hand or dual wielding. Sug Sug, go forth to victory. Dabu. So I hear you have to be careful. Pickpocket is nice. Backstab. And another thing to point out, you have finishing moves and attack moves. You can't do a finishing move until you've done some enough of this. So like with the Sinister Strike, it's instance. I think I'm going to... Farewell! See what's down here. Ah, okay, there's a warlock trainer. You go to the weapon smith and you can see the Be safe. What do you need? Go. With honor. Look, Tar. You can buy different things, but you can see the prices that go with it. Or the horde. Now I'm curious with dual wielding. This up here. I think that comes with a certain, might not be until much later.
available at my class trainers. Doesn't say there's a level to it. There must be right. something. Oh, level 10. Get dual level 10. Warriors 20, Hunters 20. So I won't get that to level 10. That makes sense. So you can go and get what weapons that. So right now it's 2 to 5. Your blades never dull. We'll go look at our quests here. Outside. Oh, bring the burning blade. North and west of the cave. See, when you see that finishing move light up, that's best to do that. This is that blinky cave, I think. Sometimes you can go in and get past all the junk. Somebody's already doing a quest. Entirely sure where this thing is. I remember it from way back when. Do that yet. No, 
without enough energy. I do not have enough energy. Not enough energy. Enough energy. I do have enough energy. Normally I would suggest going through and leveling up. Whatever I'm supposed to turn in here. This is where you get your first minor healing potion. Go forth to victory. May your blades never dull. Zug Zug. Strength and honor. Be safe. So let's see what quest we have. Senjin Village is the big village. Sarko. Now when they're you can tell by the color. I may go to Senjin Village. We'll do that. Now let's come back. This is where you gotta be careful. Is there, if it's a yellow quest, it's gonna be a little tricky. Straight. You wanna go to Sunjin Village. You don't change your Hearthstone until you go to an innkeeper. So I can always come back here because right now the Valley of Trials where I come back to. I only know this because I've played the regular while well, way back. So a lot of this is similar 
what I had when I was loving the character in the full blown wild for want of a better term. Some of the classes are further down the coast. And the sign markers will tell you where you need to go. Draw hall. For the horde. So Sunjin Valley. Now that's the troll village. So I'm going to go this You can see an undead character there. You can level any class anywhere. But if you prefer to level with the trolls, you can come over and level the character of the trolls. You know, the hardcore element, you kind of think about what, what you do them willy-nilly. Hey there. Hey there. Relax. How you doing, man? Be seeing ya. What you want? Okie dokie. See ya later. So you have quests here, and you also have vendors that are more, you can learn your, your skills here. Relax. Stay away from So them. like for skinning, for example, is a good skill. I don't remember what is skinning. Relax. Um, they also carry they will trade so I'm gonna have a mining pick bye bye now hey there see I don't have enough for a pouch which kind of sucks Stay away from the voodoo. What you want? I'll be seeing ya. So, oh, yes. so herbless, I'm going to be a miner and a skinner. I think I have to go to the other town to do that. Talk to me later. We'll go to that town and then uh, we'll come back and do the other questing.
the element here is if you've played WoW before, you already kind of have a feel for what's not good to do, when and where. If there's flying mounts in classic well there may not be which is good and in my opinion and the opinion of many including some of the developers i think flying mounts which had a good intention for a particular area and then were expanded the entire game kind of ruined it if you see me playing diablo you'll know i don't, I don't mind running places you know you'll get uh, ground mounts eventually. This is where the main trainers, like the other village was kind of a step up village. This is one of the main hubs next to uh, Ogremar. It's down the road yet further. You get XP for discovering places. You can set your hearthstone here. So the stable master. Good to meet ya. It's where you'd have your mounts. What do you need? Be safe. Go forth to victory. Strength. This is where I would set my hearthstone if I wanted to stay here. There's mailboxes. So you can mail stuff between your characters. I don't know if I can mail things to my other characters yet, because I have a lot of them. What are you looking for? May your blades never dull. Train and first aid. What I think I'm going to try to do. I don't remember if you can have you can have two gathering. So I think I'm going to do skinning and mining. And I will do uh, leather work or cloth. Cloth work makes the bags. Might do leather working and then do cloth working on my other characters. It used to be a thing, maybe Classic doesn't have it. There used to be a key that you could go see on the map. It's an engineer. Look, Tar. Strength. I think I'm going to be a skinner and a um, leather worker. So it means I can get rid of my pick.
Speak, friend. Go forth to victory. First trick is to find the trainers. It's a pink in here. Armor. Shield. Blood and thunder. I'll be a skinner and a leather worker. Dick dang if I can remember where the skinner control is. Blood and thunder. For the horde. And what you could do, and I'll to see if it's here. You could ask a guard, and they'll tell you. Strength and honor. Now I have to go to the Ogremar. So the Ogremar, we go. Bag space will become an issue, but we might as well go to Ogremar and find out what it's to keep, make a guild. I think you have to have ten sig signatures, <coughs> or used to be, which is a pain. But with the uh, guild, you get a guild bank you can share. So what I'm probably going to need to do is create a bank. Or Which is one way we got around that. Here it might not be so difficult to make a guild, but then you get into guild. Now the other thing to note is you can play up to I think level 20 in regular WoW, but not to have a subscription. Dueling can have its own. You know, if you die, for, I would assume you die permanently in the duel. I don't know if you can turn your PvP flag on or off. It would be kind of stupid to do, to be honest. But.
What do you need? Go with all on the drag, so it marks it on the map for you. So you see little, up on the top there in the map, you see the little gold <coughs> arrow. Now, since we're in Ogremar, we can go to the bank and offload some of our stuff from our... This is the innkeeper, if you want to do your inn here. Giggles and grins, let's go see if there's any bags for sale. In the auction house. That's not the auction house. We'll come back to that. I don't want to spend money and not be able to do skipping. There are signs outside. Oh, there's the auction house. You really have to watch the fire damage. You stand too close, you could get killed by the fire, which is funny, but not. So for bags, for example, So you can see the current bid of how much it is for woolen bags. So, yeah. This is why you end up having multiple characters. So my other characters would be cloth makers. How to make a barbarian for my banker. I can mail stuff to him, he can put it in his bank. This is the fun you get into when you start playing. You have to plot. Could I help you with? So skinning goes with leather. Speak, friend. Daughter's home. So I guess I don't have so these journeys never dull. Thrall heart for the horde. What are you looking for? Strength. What are you looking for? So there's all kinds Check of different that. things you can get, so... We shall go to the bank and we'll go back to the beginning area. Bags. You can ask sometimes in general chat if there's anybody that has. Lotar. Gold. 
Oh, on a PvP server, one of the fun things to do is come raid this place and we sit and kill off people. We have a hundred thousand people. Mukra. So we don't need to have these there. Dabu. I'll be curious to go see the guild things. Blood and thunder. Funny thing in Stormwind, I know where everything is because I played the Alliance for so long. Horde, not so much. Cost ten silver. Nice to know. Go forth to victory. And that's where joining a guild comes in handy because it oftentimes a lot of starter stuff. But we're gonna play the lone wolf here. So a lot of times you'll see a level one character in by the bank and all they do is take mail to the bank. And it's easy because you just mail them to them and it becomes your so I should do I think if I just Click on, we'll see. We'll try finding something I can skin. Libtards, multiple tards. Two people at work. Yeah, you must die permanently. So the game gets you going because you realize, okay, I need to have this, this, and that. The only way you get that. Is if you build your own little army of people. You can see how coming out of Diablo 4 into this, it was quite the eye-opening experience. In my case, it was on the Alliance side, which is just is pretty just not as right. And that's a Voidwalker. Uh, he's a level 12 Warlock. It's a tank. Apparently. There's a quest you have to do to get him, which can be deadly. Things that are somewhat trivial 
now become questions like what do I do? Do I do that right now? Hunters are fun. Um, there are pets you can get that spawn in certain places at certain times. And for a while they were playing with uh, servers sharing spaces. So you'd go places, you'd see people from other servers, you couldn't trade with them or anything, but it became a PvP fun because they'd be waiting for something and it would spawn and then they would take it. So that is skinnable. So when you see the color of the skinning, it tells you the difficulty. So the advantage of getting it early is now when I go along, I can skin other people's kills. So it just takes a few times. You see how the skinning... Now if they don't loot them, then it's kind of sucks. So, you just say is tell people if you're going to kill something, loot the damn things. But now you can go hog wild in a starter area because nobody has skinning there, typically. If I was an herbalist, that's where I could farm the beast blue. Now as you get higher and higher in your skinning, you have less failures. So you can see here a bunch of stuff I can skin. And sometimes you'll get scales. And you go to the auction house and sell it. that's where you want to have a banker because they can take your stuff. So if your character dies, which was not normally a consideration in the old classic, you at least still have So let, I don't want to say that skinning is easy, but it is kind of in the sense that you pick up other people's scraps. Because in the, as you saw, you don't get that until you get to Ogremar, so a lot of people don't have skinning at this level. They don't know about it.
But when I start a new character, I'll make sure I went to Stormwind or Ogremar and got skinning or herbing or tailoring. You can't skip these, or else people aren't moving them. They have to be a certain level. There's a quest up here which will wake up. Now, sometimes what I'll do is I will use my one hand to drive and the other hand to find a napping troll. You wait long enough, they take a nap. Kind of orc, okie dokie. See the arrow telling you where you have to go. I have to go all the way back to the beginning here. thing about it is if you have to decide if you're going to be playing all the classes then you have to get into with mining you can get into um, making armor and weapons speak friend for the horde Be safe.
Four two seven eight five. Wrong number. So let's go look. I think that same cave I was in earlier when I got to medallions, right? I go through it there. Actually, I need to go coordinate some stuff here. And I will be back here to do part three. To check out my books at sellersjr.com, my overall website, geekfangshui.com, and our friends at Chaotic Good Brewing here in Castle Matterville, under pressure from Golden Valley, South by Southeast and Pine Island, or a venue of similar family, pet, fun, friendly places in your area, if you're not blessed to be in ours. Please like and subscribe, and uh, particularly liking. Subscribing is checking the bell accordingly really does help the channel and have a good one. Mm -hmm.